What a performance from Christian Alman and Dominator finally getting their golden ticket to the LGCT Super Grand Prix in Prague. He was so close all of 2021 and finally now Christian Alman, the German veteran, secures an LGCT victory and secures that golden ticket to compete at the Super Grand Prix later this year. Joint championship leaders, the stories continue to come out of Hamburg and once again joint second place finish finishes as well. Can you believe it? We didn't think maybe that that was going to happen anytime soon. Well, here we are once again at an LGCT Grand Prix. And once again, we will see two riders sharing the second place finish on the podium. We are standing by and waiting for Christian Allman to find out exactly what today's winner has to say. We're going to let him get his microphone, let him get his thoughts, and then go back to Hamburg to find out exactly what is on his mind, where he thinks he won it, and what this will mean for him to go on and compete at the LGCT Super Grand Prix at the Prague playoffs later on this year. Heartbreak for some of the riders. Johnny Pulse, of course, it was difficult for him. Niels Brainsiel is difficult for him as well. And perhaps not the finish that Marcus Eining and Stargold would have been looking for at the end of today's event. But for now, let's go back to Hamburg. Let's hear from your winner, Christian Allmann. Christian, what a comeback from Dominator. That was just spectacular. Describe how good this win feels. Uh, it's an amazing win in front of the home crowd. It's full house, even with the not perfect weather. Thank you, everybody, for coming here and cheering for us. It was an unbelievable feeling today. Thank you. You already won here in 2013 with Codex One, so you know how the ground rides. Do you think that gave you an advantage? Uh, I don't know. I know the ring very well, but I know Dominator quite well after uh, two, three years building up. Uh, he felt in the beginning of the show not super well. We had, had our difficulties in the first class. We had another small class yesterday to uh, get back in uh, normal shape, let's say. But uh, there or coming here? today he jumped amazing. He, he jumped like always and uh, he gave everything. So uh, we had a perfect day. You've also won a prestigious golden ticket to the LGCT Super Grand Prix in Prague later this year. Were you expecting to walk away with that this weekend? I was hoping for this golden ticket, but I didn't expect in the beginning of the week. Uh, no, no chance. But uh, it developed well, and uh, like I said, uh, today was his day. Uh, he performed like he, he, he can do, and uh, yeah, it was our lucky day. Well, congratulations. Do you have anything to say to the home crowd in German? Yeah, I have already said it, but I want to thank you all for coming, that you have supported our sport. It has been a lot of fun. You are class. Thank you. Thank the Hamburg crowd appreciating and showing their love to a local hero, Christian Allmann, going on to pick up success today, winning the LGCT Grand Prix of Hamburg. And with that, as we heard from Floss Bish Jones, a prestigious golden ticket to the LGCT Super Grand Prix later on this year. Stay with us here on GCTV. We look back on a phenomenal Grand Prix in Hamburg. Lamisel presents Enviro Green, the eco friendly line that cares about the environment while nurturing the well being of your horse. A new range of products engineered from recycled plastic yarn and natural bamboo charcoal textile. Isolates heat and regulates temperature. Quick dry. Bacteria resistant. Natural deodorizer. Breathable. Innovation through green technology. Lamy Cell. The future is green. <laughs> Thank you. 
Welcome back to GCTV and I can indeed confirm that we have joint leaders once again on the overall championship standings of the LGCT. What a weekend, what a story. Niels Brainseals, Peter DeVos, joint leaders now on 119 points each. We will show you all of the tables and we'll take you through the memorable rounds in the jump off in a few moments time but for now we stay with the winners ceremony we stay with the dignitaries that will go out onto the podium and hand out the champagne hand out the trophies and the medals as we prepare to bid farewell to hamburg this weekend a reminder christian alman andre team and mikey pender your best three riders of the afternoon securing first, second, and third place. We will confirm that indeed after original thoughts around a joint second place. Let's find out how it does end. Jan Dops, president and founder of not just the Global Champions League, but of course of the Longines Global Champions Tour as well, getting driven to the podium or ridden to the podium in absolute style as the very knowledgeable Hamburg crowd get to appreciate the closing moments of the Longines Global Champions Tour Grand Prix here today. Weather not always perfect, I'm afraid, in Hamburg, but the show jumping has been top quality, as we always promise to bring you the best in show jumping. Christian Alman and Dominator, double clear throughout the Grand Prix. In fact, his first victory at Hamburg since 2013, stopping the clock at 50.51. Frustrating day for Gerard Nieberg, for Marcus Eining and for Johnny Pulse, who all saw fences fall in the jump off. There were four clear rounds in the jump off and those belonged to Andre Team, Christian Alman, Mario Stevens and Mikey Pender on HHS Calais. We wait for the riders to make their way back into the ring for one final appearance before we see those trophies being handed out. And of course, there we see as well a beautiful Longines watch. Jan Tops is ready. The dignitaries are ready. And Christian Allmann and Dominator are ready. A great performance from the German to be able to do it on home soil, no doubt, makes it extra special. And this very knowledgeable crowd the show jumping hungry crowd here in Hamburg showed their appreciation and applause to a true champion, a man that for so long has performed on multiple global champion stages. Last year in particular, during the Global Champions League for his team, the Shanghai Swans, going all the way through to the final event before heartbreakingly finishing as runners up. And now, finally, as an individual on the LGCT stage, to be able to go on and pick up success, to win another Grand Prix, to get his golden ticket to the Super Grand Prix later on this year. It will be a weekend to remember for Christian Alman and Dominator, who finish in first place, as we mentioned, stopping the clock at 50.51 seconds, better and faster than the rest. What a weekend for Christian Allman. Let's stand by and go back to Hamburg as we await for the three winners to make their way onto the podium. We kindly ask our riders to dismount their horses for the prize giving ceremony of the Longing Global Champions Tour, the Grand Prix of Hamburg. Wir haben eine tolle Ausnahme. Wir haben zwei Reiter auf dem zweiten Platz mit ganz genau der gleichen Zeit von 51,33 Sekunden. Ladies and Gentlemen, we have two competitors on the second place with the exact same time of 51.33 seconds. The second place of the Longing Global Champions Tour, the Grand Prix of Hamburg, go to Chakaria and Calais. Michael Bender and Andre Thieber.
For the fourth time in six LGCT Grand Prix, we hear the German anthem as Germans continue to dominate the 2022 LGCT season. Fourth German to win, Christian Almann and dominated today to follow Ludger Biedebaum twice and Katrin Ackermann as well. What a season this is proving to be for the Germans and how special it is to be able to see a German rider win in Hamburg. Do not be fooled by the sash around the shoulder of Andre Team that says number three. They are indeed joint second place finishers after stopping the clock at exactly the same time at 51.33. Mikey Pender on HHS Calais and Andre Team on Chakaria. Both finishing at exactly the same time to take second place, shared second place behind Christian Almond, your winner today. We will await the champagne, we will await our lap of honor, and we will begin to show you just how these riders got to where they are now and what impact these performances have had on the overall Longines Global Champions Tour standings because the big news coming out of today is in fact that we do indeed have joint championship leaders six events down and joint championship leaders in Niels Brainseals and Peter De Vos. Peter De Vos who had to qualify on his second horse did not make it into the jump off and Niels Brainseals on Christel finishing seventh out of eighth but it's enough to make up valuable championship points we'll unpack that more a little bit later on as we see Christian Allman receive his trophy and of course his beautiful long jeans timepiece a weekend to remember for the German. Being applauded by the dignitaries as well as his two fellow competitors in Andre Team and Mikey Penda. Special weekend for Christian Almond and a very important weekend for the overall Longines Global Champions Tour standings. Brainsiel is in fact making up good ground on the standings. Gilles Thomas, not present in Hamburg today, drops down. And with Ludger Bierbaum not qualifying for today's Grand Prix, he too loses ground on the overall championship standings. A big, big story out of the weekend. The fact that Ludger Bierbaum and Miller, following a terrible performance in the GCL, did not qualify. And Christian Almond is the last man standing on the podium as well. <laughs> Very quickly getting Mikey Pender and Andre Team off of the podium. And much like he was alone in first place, he finds himself alone in the podium. Finally now, Andre Team trying to get some uh, payback on Christian Almond. Mikey Pender right in the firing line. <laughs> Not having an opportunity to get to his bottle. And after getting a face full of champagne, finally try to make his way back in. Lovely moments and memorable moments for Christian Allman here today, going on to be crowned champion of Hamburg. And as we mentioned, picks up a 
very, very important and highly sought after LGCT Grand, uh, Super Grand Prix appearance, that golden ticket. Here are the new championship standings, as we mentioned. Christian Alman, I beg your pardon. I think I may have said DeVos and Brain Seals. I beg your pardon. Christian Alman and Peter DeVos, your new championship leaders. Niels Brain Seals, with a seventh place finish today on Christel, moves up to third. Gilles Thomas, not present, drops to fourth. Ludger Bierbaum, not present, drops to fifth. And then your previous winners, Christa, uh, Katrin Ackerman, down to seventh. Michael Duffy, who earlier on had a real surge up the championship, now drops down to eighth. And Christian Kukuk in sixth place. So Christian Alman, with his victory today, with all 40 points today, now finds himself as a joint championship leader on the LGCT overall championship standings. And let's not underestimate, despite a seventh place finish for Niels Brainsiels today, earning valuable championship points as the winners, as well as your joint second place finishers, do their final lap of honor. Andre Team, the European champion, and Mikey Pender, understandably leaving a bit of space between themselves and the winner today as Christian Alman soaks it in, thanks the crowd, who show their appreciation with a huge round of applause for the winner today. Let's show you how we got to this point. Let's show you what brought us to this point. And Andre Team was the first man to come into the jump off. On Chikaria, he eventually stayed clear, but there was room for error. There was room for maneuvering, shall we say. And Frederick de Vaca made the good point in commentary that he left the door a little bit open. A time of 51.33 proved essentially to be good enough to get onto the podium, but there was room for improvement. Along Chakaria, he was able to really move along the ground and make up some crucial time towards those final lines. And as the ground began to break up, Andre Team was able to really put together some very, very strong lines. Here, yeah, getting out of the combination, coming into the final turn here. In particular, this area, the ground began to tear up terribly, getting over the Longines fence, final stretch to the last fence, and stopping the clock, as we said, at 51.33. A time that was indeed good enough to see him ultimately finish on the podium. So the very first man to go, eventually finding himself on the podium. Now, Mario Stevens, who had a rather unique entrance into the jump off, if you recall, getting into the jump off only after the time was moved by course designer Frank Rothenberger and Starissa eventually finishing in fourth place just outside of the podium after stopping the clock at 52 seconds flat he did stay double clear but was unable to go on and better the time of andre team Staresa putting in a strong performance staying clear something that he certainly can be very proud of mario stevens but it was not enough to challenge the top riders it was not enough to get himself onto the podium as we just had the impression that it was always going to be a little bit slower than the rest. Coming out into the final rollback. Over that difficult turf, being cheered on by the crowd. And now putting it into gear, approaching that final line. And eventually stopping the clock at 52 seconds flat. A time that was to be bettered and a time that unfortunately for Mario Stevens was not good enough to see him finish on the podium just outside of it. In fact, he finishes in fourth place. But what about the champion? What about the winner today? Christian Alman and Dominator putting in an outstanding performance. And they really, really were quicker and better and more confident than everyone else around them. To the appreciation of the German crowd. He was able to put together some really strong lines, especially in the early stages of his jump off. Going back to a ring that he knows so incredibly well. A ring, in fact, that he was able to win at back in 2013 in Hamburg. It's been a long time coming for Christian Allmann to finally pick up victory once again in Hamburg. Making its way to the global champions fence getting over very, very comfortably, now making his way into the combination. Dominator easily, easily dealing with it. On the rollback now into the final line here. 
gets over the winged fence, now makes his way to the final fence, stopping the clock there at a very impressive 50.51, a time that gave him the provisional lead. And with a handful of riders still to follow, we weren't too sure whether or not that provisional lead was going to stay in place. But it was indeed, and we'll show you what happened with Mikey Pender in a few moments' time. I believe he's standing by for us. Let's then go back to Hamburg. Mikey Pender, congratulations. Your very first LGCT podium, if I'm not mistaken. How are you feeling after a great performance today? Yeah, I'm absolutely delighted. Um, my horse jumped fantastic, and um, I made one more stride that the black vertical maybe cost me, but um, I'm still over the moon to be on the podium for the first time at a GCT, so... Um, Thank everybody at home um, for everything, and um, it's a great day for the stable. To be riding alongside these veterans like Christian Alman, like Marcus Eining, what are you taking out of experiences like this? What are you learning on occasions like this, Mikey? Yeah, every day you learn when you're riding with riders that, you're, that are your heroes, and um, I think it's a fantastic opportunity. and. Um, I'd like to thank everybody for giving me the opportunity to uh, be able to be on the podium today. And HHS Kelly, tell us a little bit more. What is so special about Kelly? Uh, Kelly is an unbelievable horse. He's such a fighter. He's always trying his best, and um, he's been a brilliant horse for me, and I can't thank him enough. Right, Bucky Penda, well done. First LGCT podium for you today, HHS Calais and Mikey Penda getting onto the podium. Let's in fact show you his round then and just give you an idea as to how good the young Irishman was around this Hamburg ring because going up against senior veterans like this, as we mentioned, a European champion and under 18, Christian Alman, Markus Eining, these are top quality experienced riders. And this young man, Mikey Pender, and HHS Calais was able to put together a round that was only bettered by your eventual winner in Christian Alman. It shows you the quality that Mikey Pender has and how much better he is getting week by week, month by month, and the development that Pender has put in from 2021 to get into the position that he finds himself now in 2022. Calais dealing with the combination, rolling back into the final two fences. And unfortunately here, you got the impression that it was going to be just a bridge too far for Mikey Pender to get over the line. Whistles from the crowd and unfortunately unable to beat the time of Christian Alman of 50.51. It was good enough, though, for Mikey Pender to finish in joint second place. And as you mentioned, a first ever Longines Global Champions Tour podium for the Irishman. I believe Christian Alman is standing by for us. Christian Alman, congratulations and well done. Take me back to coming into the ring for the jump off, an arena that you love, fans that love you. What was going through your mind? Uh, thank you very much, first of all. Uh, yeah, I, I really try to do my best, win uh, possible situation. Uh, the Dominator jumped amazing today. We had uh, not the best start uh, in the beginning of this show, so I did another small class the second day. But today he felt like uh, like normal, and he had the last confidence. So uh, I tried the last risk, and uh, yeah, he worked with me. He gave everything, and uh, I'm really proud of him. Christian, with your victory today, you take all 40 points. You jump right up the LGCT overall championship standings. Does this now give you belief? Do you feel that you can become a championship contender for the title at the end of the year? Yeah, I hope that the chances are not so bad. I have a good string of horses. The beginning of the season, was not uh, super successful. It uh, was some good results, but to be a champion uh, need to be different, honestly. But uh, yeah, maybe it was the the start to uh, to the better second half, let's say, and uh, uh, would be very nice. Yeah. And last year we saw you come so close, Christian, to a golden ticket. That now secured. You're going to Prague for the Super Grand Prix. Do you have belief that you can be the best rider throughout the entire year and do what we saw Henrik van Ackerman do last year? Yeah, that was one of the biggest goals for this season to, to, to get this uh, golden ticket. 
like you said last year I was a few times very close but I uh, couldn't make it uh, but okay uh, this year is a new year I tried uh, the same and I tried my very best and today was our lucky day that was that was very good dominating Hamburg and dominating the championship standings Christian Allman well done your victor in Hamburg today going on to win the LGCT Grand Prix of Hamburg and it does make for interesting viewing because once again we now find ourselves in a situation where we have joint championship leaders and despite a seventh place finish from Niels Brainseals and Crystal they now still find themselves making up huge ground on the championship standings as well let's bring up that round from Niels Brainseals and show you what he was able to do today your 2021 LGCT Doha champion winning the first LGCT Grand Prix of the 2021 season he was hoping to try and make it another LGCT victory this time in 2022 although of course in Doha we recall he jumped deluxe from TNL today it was crystal and unfortunately they were unable to replicate that performance of deluxe and that Doha appearance. We saw a fence going down for Niels Brain Seals, eventually finishing in seventh place at a time of 55.23. But at 55.23, he is still able to earn himself championship points that now sees him going to the joint top of the championship standings. So despite a seventh place finish, it perhaps still should be seen as a very successful weekend overall because we know that the Longines Global Champions Tour is not just about event to event. There is a bigger picture. There is a bigger story here. And that is the overall championship standings. Stopping the clock at 55.23 seconds with four faults. It sees him finish the overall jump off in seventh place but it was not enough for him to go on and take the outright lead i believe andre team is standing by for us andre congratulations a european champion performing with so many germans around you how proud do you feel to perform like this in hamburg today very proud i i know i have a world-class horse and um Already last year was amazing. Now the whole year she's already producing clear rounds and won already a few Grand Prix. So I'm very happy with this second place. And talk to me about Chakaria. You're going head to head with some of the best riders in the world, your German compatriots. What makes Chakaria so special? Yeah, I think everybody can see that she's just mm, a real real fighter a lot of blood um, she gets better and better and better the more she jumps and she is very quick careful and she makes those big big jumps look easy like she has a, a way of jumping scopy in a very light way so there's pretty much everything special about that horse and Andre, it's, it's not very common that we see joint second place finishes. Do you feel that you have won second place or have you lost first place today? Uh, I knew that I have a very, I knew that I had a quick horse. So I was a little bit in the back of my head thinking if there, it could be my lucky day, but then when I jumped from one to two in the jump off i already knew uh, that was the second distance and not the first distance and then i did the same thing to the last jump so two times i did not take full risk and right away i knew this is not going to be the win but since my horse performed better round for round for round uh, i'm very happy and i think we have big goals this year so i i can live with that i wish you the best of luck for those big goals please get out of the rain well done a joint second place finish today for your european champion and a very proud man and andre team on chakaria finishing joint second alongside mikey pender on hhs calais both men just slightly finding themselves behind your overall winner christian alman and dominates a big big plans for Andre team for the rest of the year. A lot of people were wondering whether or not Marcus Eining, the veteran on Stargold, was able to go on and take
take the title away from the rest of the field today. Lightning quick in the GCL this weekend. A superb opening first round performance from this pairing. And with the time to beat of what was originally then set at 50.51, Many were wondering if it was this combination that was going to be fast enough to go on and take the title. Marcus Henning and Stargold unable to do that because ultimately we saw a fence go down for Henning. He was unable to keep a clean sheet throughout round one and round two of the jump off as he then takes the roll back into global champions. He keeps it up as Stargold continues to buck getting into the combination. And here then is where we see Marcus Aining making the turn, getting in towards that final line. And the time looked really good. The time looked positive. And unfortunately, right towards the end, the fault that saw him come home in four and eventually stopped the clock, in fact, at a slightly slower time anyway, at 50.96. So despite the fault, Marcus Aining and Star Gold was not able to go on and take the title. Now, as we mentioned, Peter DeVos goes on to now find himself in a championship race between Niels Braidseels and, of course, now Christian Allman. He did not qualify for the jump off, but it was that fault that saw him miss out. Now, all of a sudden, we find Peter DeVos then coming home in a score of eight. Your championship leader. It was this performance in round one that kept him out of the jump off. It was that performance in round one that then saw the championship lead begin to swing between himself, Niels Brainsiels, and now Christian Allman. So that round one performance from Peter De Vos proving to be very crucial from a championship standing point of view. Frederick DeBacca will unpack all of this for you in the upcoming LGCT Grand Prix analysis show available to you on your GCTV Pro Pass. And I will join him back in studio next week as well to unpack the insider. That too is available for you on GCTV with your live pass. Thank you for joining us in Hamburg. We'll see you next weekend for round seven in Cannes. We'll see you then. Good night.